Now we'll do the doorknob squats. This exercise will work the buttocks and the front and back of the thighs. You'll need your stool or your chair, and of course, your door. Now ready? Okay, set your timer to 100 seconds, and then lightly grasp the doorknobs, taking an underhand grip, but make sure you're not grabbing too tightly. You wanna keep your feet shoulder width apart, and make sure that when you do this exercise, you don't let the knees go over the toes. You wanna keep your knees behind your toes at all times. Okay, ready? Begin. Very, very slowly, taking three seconds to move the first inch. And you want to make sure that you're not pulling very strongly on the doorknobs at all, just very lightly holding them. When the buttocks touch the chair, slowly reverse, taking again three seconds to move that first inch, making sure that you're breathing freely at all times, keeping the head and neck as relaxed as you possibly can, keeping a straightforward view and not letting the knees come completely straight. A little bit of a bend and then reversing very slowly once again. Make sure again that you're breathing very freely, keeping the movement as slowly as you possibly can. And once the buttocks touch the chair again, very, very slowly on the reverse, taking three seconds to move the first inch. One of the keys to getting the best benefits out of the slow burn strength training system is to try to do the exercises in succession with very little rest in between them. Of course, if you perform one or two or three exercises and afterwards you feel like you need to sit and rest for several minutes, that's perfectly okay. Make sure as your legs are tiring that you're not pulling on the doorknobs. Make sure that you're keeping your fingers and your arms as relaxed as you can, not letting the knees lock and reversing again. This time, when the rear end touches the chair, very gently rest, sit down, and relax your muscles. Now,